If you've ever wanted a really cool and clutter-free file managing application that not only works and functions really well, but also looks pretty similar to Android's own file manager that pops up whenever you open any file or select any file from another app, Material Files is the app to go to. Now, this is an absolutely brilliant open source file managing application that follows heavily the design language of the file managers found in Pixel devices. Not only can you use it to manage your internal storage and look into the folders of your device's storage, but you can also go ahead and extract files, copy and paste them, basically do all your file managing needs from an application that looks exactly like the Pixel one. To find out more applications like this, welcome back to today's video. What's up guys, Anubhav here. In today's video, you guys know the drill. It's July, so you know we are talking about the 10 best applications that you may not know about July, but are ones that you should definitely try. If you guys do end up liking this video, a thumbs up would be amazing. A subscription and turning on the bell icon would be even more amazing. So make sure you get that done. And with that said, let's get started. Alright guys, at number 2, we've got an application that is going to be very helpful to anybody who uses a Sony mirrorless camera. This is called Monitor Plus and it's a free application that I recently came across which basically as the name suggests turns your Android phone's display into a secondary monitoring display for your camera. Now on newer cameras like the A7R4, the A7S3 or the A7 IV that I am using, I can use this app wirelessly via Bluetooth with my camera. So as you can see, you can pair your camera to this application and once the pairing process is completed, you can go ahead and see all the different things. So everything from, you know, whether you are focused or not, whether you are recording or not, the shutter speed, all the camera information is over here. Of course, you can play and pause recording and also stop recording itself from here. There are a couple of other features that you can get from the Pro version, like the ability to run zebra lines, the ability to input a LUT for your footage, which I think is really cool. So I may end up getting the Pro version, but if you are a creator or a videographer, photographer, and you just need a secondary display, I think the free version will also do a tremendous job if you're a Sony camera user. So while only a few of you might be able to use this application, the few that do will definitely appreciate me talking about it. So be sure to check it out. With that said, let's talk about the next application which goes by the name of Birthday. Now, you know, I am guilty of missing people's birthdays. I absolutely love wishing people on their birthdays, but you know, sometimes there are just so many people throughout the year that you are bound to miss one or two. And Google Calendar doesn't really do a very good job at reminding you of people's birthdays. So this is an application that you can use to set birthdays and then remember. It's called Birthday. And as you can see, the UI of the application is also pretty cool. You can go ahead and favorite people that your birthdays that you want to show. Go ahead and add different birthdays as well as anniversaries, name day, others. And of course, you can consider the year and set an event. One cool thing about this application that I really liked was the fact that you can import your contacts and get the birthday information directly that way, which is really cool. And whenever you open the app, you will see the upcoming birthdays that are coming up. So you will not miss wishing your loved ones and your friends on their birthdays. Definitely a priceless app. Be sure to check it out. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a pretty cool icon bag. I have to say it's got more than 2,700 icons. This is called Inklight. It is a paid icon pack, but doesn't cost over 80 rupees or a little over a dollar, I think, which is really, really nice considering the freshness because, you know, free icon packs are getting rarer and rarer from the point of view of a new fresh look. All of them pretty much look the same. So if you're willing to spend about 80 odd rupees, you can get your hands on ink line. I really like the icons over here. They are sort of an outline with cool material design and pastel muted colors. If this looks like the kind of icon pack that you would enjoy, there's not much to talk about. It comes with its own set of wallpapers, different KLWP templates as well. So it's a loaded icon pack for a pretty inexpensive price tag. Be sure to check it out. Next up, guys, we've got a pretty nice organization application that I absolutely fell in love with. This is called Listy and is your one-stop shop for creating lists of everything. Whether it is movies that you have watched and you want to remember that you've watched them, whether it is books that you want to read or whatever websites, videos that you want to watch later, this is going to be your favorite organizational application. I quickly found myself very nicely attracted to this application because as soon as you click on the plus button, you can get inspiration. You can select movies, books, TV shows, bookmarks, video games, 
podcasts, board games, etc., which is really cool. So if we go to movies and create a different category, you will see that you can add movies over here. So not only can you add the name of the movie, but the application also fills in other stuff like the release date as well as the movie poster and stuff like that, which looks really, really nice. And of course, you can also mark it as watched. And I, I really like this list. And I can see myself spending a lot of time with this. Use it to share all the online content that you don't want to forget. And I'm sure you guys will be happy with this application as well. Next up, we've got a pretty different application. This is called Giga Icon. And yes, this is a pretty interesting application from the point of view that this lets you create larger widgets of a single app on the screen. Now, you can use this for a number of things, whether you want to highlight a home screen with your favorite most used applications, or I can see this being used with very old people who cannot actually see clearly the app icon. So if you want to set up your phone for your grandfather or your grandmom, you can use this application and make their most used apps even larger for them to be used very, very easily. I like the fact that you can create any widget and resize it according to the size. It also looks really cool. If you're a fan of the big icon aesthetic, be sure to check it out. With that said, guys, next up, we've got a free and open source application, which goes by the name of ScreenCam. And why am I talking about a screen recording application? Because it's an absolute shame that Android's own screen recording options are so limited, whether it is resolution, bitrate and frame rate or orientation. This application has more features than your stock video recording app. Therefore, you should go ahead and try it out. You can select resolution up to 1440p, depends on the display, of course, frame rate up to 60 frames per second, bitrate, orientation. You can also go ahead and record audio from internal as well as an external mic and set different sorts of things such as the download location, etc, etc. Overall, I really like the fact that this application is a very clean way of, uh, you know, recording uh, your own screen on your Android device. So if you do a lot of stuff like that, there's going to be a cool app, a free app and an open source app at that. So be sure to check it out. Next up, guys, we've got a WhatsApp voice note transcriber, which goes by the name of WhatsApp transcriber. Uh, it, it's really cool. You know, it does have ads because it takes a little bit of time to transcribe. But a cool thing is that you can record any voice note. Go ahead and hit on share on that voice note. Select this application. It will show you a quick ad that you can go through if you don't want to pay for the pro version, which I think is okay. It's just like five seconds. And then you go ahead and get the transcribed voice note on text. Of course, you can select the languages from the settings, which is really, really cool. And the app is also filled with material design. So you can go ahead and check that out. I like it. It does a very simple job of turning voice notes into text in case you're in a position where you can't really listen to a person's voice note, but you still want to get to the message. Next up, guys, we've got a great task management application called Zero Task. I particularly like the UI of this app. It lets you add different tasks. And of course, you can go ahead and create new ones as well. Uh, you can also add focus modes within that task so you can start the focus session. And of course, you know, you can pause it, skip it or complete it, whichever one that you want to do. So let's hit on complete. It shows you a lot of uh, cool animations and uh, the app's UI is particularly motivating whenever you complete tasks. So that is something really cool. You can go to the settings and also change the day planning time. And it's just a cool free task management application that you can use to manage your tasks on your Android device. Last but not the least, guys, has to be my favorite application from the list. This is called Playlist by IGN, which is basically a game database. So if you're a fan of video games, whether you're a console gamer or a PC gamer, that is not important. This is basically an application where you can create an account, browse through the latest games and playlists that are out for different consoles or PC. And you can also create your own library where you can categorize the games, whether you are currently playing them, whether you have completed them, whether you have paused playing them or whether they are in your backlog. I really like the concept of this application because it lets me sort of keep a list of games that I have played and future games that I do want to play. I've been looking for an application like this that works without any fusses, without any money, you know, free cool app. And I finally found it. I'm going to be hanging on to this for quite a long time. And I feel that if you are a gamer as well, you will find this application particularly interesting. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, these were 10 amazing Android applications for the month of July 2023. These videos take a lot of time to curate, to shoot, to edit and to bring it out to you guys. So if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, press on bell notifications to never miss another update. This is Arup of signing out. I'll catch you guys next time. You guys have a great day. Stay safe. Peace out.